This is Otaile Primary School in the Northwest Province of South Africa. Joyce Moki is head of department for the foundation phase. Joyce is planning a reading activity with her grade three class of children. She chooses the book, Goat the False King, to do a poster book activity. Joyce will write the story on big posters and the children will draw their own pictures underneath to show they understand the story. This is an activity for English as a first additional language, or IFAL. Joyce thinks this book has an interesting message about leadership and is at a level of English suitable for most learners in the class. Joyce will read the story to her learners and then invite them to draw pictures for each page. She's interested in how the children interpret the meaning of the words into pictures. But first she must plan and prepare her lesson carefully. As part of her planning, Joyce reads the story to herself so that she knows it well. Then she writes the words from each page of the storybook onto a separate piece of paper. Nice and big for everyone in the class to see. Joyce sticks the big pieces of paper with the storybook words onto the wall. When all the pages are up, she adds smaller blank pages underneath each written page. When all the pages are up, she adds smaller blank pages underneath each written page until there are blank pages under every big piece of paper. As part of the lesson, she will invite children to draw on the blank pages. All her materials are ready and she starts her class. Joyce has already prepared a poster book on the wall of her classroom. The learners will be asked to draw pictures to illustrate each page on the wall. Joyce has full color copies of the book and black and white copies that she made herself. Each child has a storybook to read from. Good day, learners. Good morning, How are you? I'm also fine. We are going to read our book. The name of the book is Goat the False King. What is the name of the book? Goat the False King. Now I'm she going... reads the storybook to the whole class in the way she normally reads a story. Once upon a time, there was a goat called Igo Dube. Igo Dube the goat was the king of farm animals and bears. He lived a good life. One day, Igudube the goat caught all the animals and bears to a meeting. She is they careful to help the learners to turn the pages at the right time a new king and to read from the correct page. Farm. And elected Joyce reads to the end of the story. You are taking it to the king's court. This is the end of the story I have read for you. Now I want someone to read for us. She asked learners to read a page out loud. Amukhalang, read page one for us. Read Amukhalang. Once upon a time, there was a goat called Ikudube. Ikudube the goat was the king of farm animals and birds. He lived a good life. One day, Ikudube the goat called all the animals and birds to a meeting. Yes, reach page two for us, Tebaso. My friend, I have called you because I had a dream, said the goat. All the animals and birds kept quiet. They listened to their king carefully. Then she asked the children questions about the story. The book that we have read. Are you ready for the questions? Yes, ma'am. The first question is, what is the name of the book? Tolile. Goat the false king. Goat the false king. What did he say? Goat the false king. Who was the first king? Who was the first king? Angelique? He got to be the king. What did she say? He got to be the king. Yes, the name of the first king was 
Igo Dubede, king. Who was the second king? Teo? King Ket. What did he say? King Ket. Yes, the second king. Now, Joyce invites the children to the poster pages to read a page quietly. And then draw a picture from the story. Joyce leaves the poster book up on the wall so that at another time, other children can also draw pictures. As the blank pages get filled, Joyce can add more to the wall. After the learners have added their drawings to the poster book, Joyce takes time to reflect. She asks herself some important questions. Did the learners enjoy the story? I think the learners enjoyed the lesson because they participated well and they answered the questions. So I think they enjoyed the lesson a lot. Did the learners enjoy drawing pictures for the story? The learners enjoyed drawing the pictures because they all want to draw. When they do drawings, it helped them to understand the story well. How else will you know if the children have understood the story? by answering questions from the story and maybe by summarizing the story, make a summary of the story. What will you do next time to make the activity better for learners? When I read, I should do actions. The children can easily understand the story when they do it in, as a drama, when they act about the story, and when they answer some questions from the story. To make it more, I can make a drama with the story. How could you improve the picture drawing? They should draw big pictures for the other who are at the chest to see from a distance. When can the learners draw the pictures? So it will be good if I read the whole story, then they, read, they draw after that. Joyce also encourages learners to draw after the class has ended. 